Hello and welcome to Simplified Triple Studies. In this session, we are going to discuss another type of analog to digital converter, namely flash analog to digital converter. It is also known as parallel encoding. In the last session, we have discussed successive approximation analog to digital converter technique. So we'll discuss what do you mean by flash or parallel encoding. First of all, everybody can observe the diagram. So there is a schematic representation of flash or parallel encoding. The main components are, we have comparator. You can use operational amplifier as a comparator, op amp, or you can write it as operational amplifier, or operational amplifier. It is an analog circuit basically, or else you can call it as it's a linear amplifier. We have always two terminal. One is inverting terminal, other will be non-inverting terminal. Next we have logic gates are available. A circuit which is made up of, a particular circuit which is made up of logic circuit. We have a logic circuit. And we have the digital output which is desirable, which is our requirement. Where is the input? We have analog input. This will be the input. You can observe there is an analog input. Correct. Our ultimate goal is to convert whatever the analog input is available here that will be converted into digital form. How to convert? Yes, there is another mechanism or an another setup. We have a reference input. Also, you can have a observation. There is a ladder. The ladder is made up of resistors. So R1, you can write it as R1, R2, R3. It is a continuous ladder. Depends on the requirement, you can connect the resistor in serial fashion. It will act as a divider. So the ladder of resistors to step down the reference voltage bit by bit. That is the importance of this ladder. It's a series voltage divider. It is very clear. Okay. What exactly happening here? Analog input that is going to convert with, that is going to compare with reference input. So depends on the need, you can connect the ladder, reference ladder. That's very important point. Now comparing analog input and reference input, that will be done with the help of a comparator. So the, uh, the position depends on the requirement, you can connect the comparator. Uh, as many conversions require, you can connect the op amp serially. All right. So this is what exactly happening in case of parallel encoding. So I'm not saying that it's serially, just, just like a, the operational amplifier you can observe, like uh, connected in parallel manner, parallel manner, but the resistors are in just like a serial divider, series divider. So that, that is what I want to convince you. Now each stages you are going to convert. So we have op amp one, then op amp two, op amp three, likewise, depends on the requirement you need to connect the op amp. Now let us discuss how does it work? What is the operation of flash ADC or parallel encoding in brief? So I have already prepared the PPT slide. Slides are available that you can make use of for your exam purpose. We know that flash analog to digital converter that is also known as parallel encoding. See, op amps are connected in parallel and there is a series divider, voltage divider. It uses linear voltage adder with a comparator. Where is the linear voltage adder? See, this is your linear voltage adder. See, you can see linear voltage adder with a comparator. Correct? That is what exactly I just wanted to uh, convince you. Okay. Moving ahead, we have a reference ladder made up of with a large number of resistors which are connected in series. That is also very clearly visible here. Flash ADC are, ADCs are ideal for applications require uh, very large bandwidth. Also, uh, each cases you are going to convert 
analog input. Your input will be compared with the reference input and uh, it is amplified, then given to logic gate. Correspondingly, we'll be getting uh, the digital uh, output in the form of LSB and MSB. You can identify the position. What are the major uh, drawbacks of parallel encoding? The major drawback which I mentioned is uh, as the number of conversion require as many as the size increases we require more number of uh, comparators are required more resistors are required uh, by the way the system size is getting increased bigger size all right that's the main problem also it consumes lot of power because there are resistors now it will dissipate the power in the form of heat power dissipation will be taken place because it's a resistor so the complexity of architecture also will be increased so huge number of comparator leaves uh, system become more expensive or oh, okay uh, moreover the advantage i would like to say that it is suitable for the, some application where large bandwidth is needed such cases you can go ahead with the flash or parallel encoding if you are uh, looking on the size money all those things uh, this method is uh, not at all uh, viable solution there is a calculation Suppose there are n, num n bit need to be converted. The conversion will be n bit. See, conversion will be n bit. Therefore, how many comparators are required? That may be one of the questions which can expect in the competitive examination. Therefore, a 2 raised to n minus 1 comparators are required. Suppose for uh, the 8 bit conversion, for 8 bit conversion, how many comparators are required? You can write 2 to the power n minus 1. That is nothing but 2 to the power, how much? Uh, 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1. That is equal to 2 to the power 7. Like that, some kind of questions will be asked. There are uh, 128, you know, 128 comparators are required. You can write 128. Okay, this many comparators are required. Like that, you can calculate. So, for the exam point of view, you have to remember the block diagram, which I already mentioned. Then you have to speak about the components. Uh, then you have to mention how does it work. Later, you have to mention about how the conversion will be taken place and how to design uh, the comparator, how many comparators required for corresponding bit of data. Only that much I we discussed today. If you are having any queries, please put up in the comment box. I'm very happy to answer. Uh, if you require any more details, for hardware details, uh, I can make a separate video. This is only for your exam point of view, which I prepared. So many students requested a uh, few more videos related to uh, the comparator, all those things. That's why I made a brief short video of this, which can be utilized for your exam point of view. Detailed video will be done in future. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.